Um, I should just left the part on there. Let me go bring another one back in. I'm going to bring a couple. Okay. Okay, so see by up here by the layers panel, you can tell there are three three hearts on my mat. Okay. So the top heart I'm just going to resize a little bit larger. Okay. All right. And in Windows, um, you'll find the setting under uh, Edit and Preferences. But because I'm using a Mac, it's going to be in a different spot up here. It's going to be under Shortcut Slot in the menu bar, and then Preferences. Okay. So right now, my color, the alpha fill, is filled at 100%. So basically, that's telling me that the color is is full color. Okay. There's no transparency. And this comes in handy for a couple reasons. When um, you're designing and you may not want to use the X and Y coordinates, you may just want to uh, apply this, you know, move the shapes by hand and just do a fast design. Um, you can see the grid on the mat just by lowering the transparency. So like I said, right now it's at 100%. So I'm just going to lower to say 30%. And then I'm going to click OK. OK. And it also becomes useful for if you have a lot of smaller shapes on your mat and you can't find them, especially when designing, now you're able to see where they're at to select them. I mean, you could use the, the layers panel as well, but if you were just using the mat, so you can see where they are underneath each shape. And then if you're designing, say you wanted to make um, a project with uh, a, a, a new shape with these three hearts, okay, and you place the, you, you're using the grid as your um, design. So you can just take the, because the shapes are transparent, you can just move them freely um, to wherever you'd like on the mat and create a new shape. I didn't and, even know that feature was in uh, in shortcuts a lot. The trans yeah, and then if you select the preferences, and, and if I set it back to 100% again, okay, okay, it's very difficult to tell on the mat where you're um, in your shapes where the grid is. So you really, you know, you're really guessing just by eyeing eyeing up. Like I said, you can use the x and y coordinates up here to be more precise, but if you wanted to use the grid for designing. You can't you can't really see where the grid is, so that's where it comes in handy. I'm just going to go back and change it again. Okay, so it makes it easier to create your design. Then you could just, like I said, just create, place the hearts anywhere on the on the mat. I'm just going to place them anywhere, and then you could just select them all and go up to path and union. And there's your new shape. So it's just a little, little something to uh, to come in handy when designing.